my little pony, my little pony. Hello, my little comic book ponies. I'm Critical Analysis, and I just finished reading My Little Pony Holiday Special for 2015. Last year, we had Sunset Shimmer celebrating her first ever Christmas with friends, despite the comic being less about the holiday spirit and more about having faith in your friends. But nonetheless, I can't wait to see what this comic has to offer. Let's begin with the cover, which is a little funny and a reference to National Lampoon's A Christmas Vacation. You have Spike trying to deliver several presents to Rarity, a top of a house that looks nothing like Carousel Boutique, and getting shot by Christmas lights. Colorful and eye-catching has nothing to do with the story. I think that's a trend with the comics. Anyway, we open with Twilight and Spike trapped at a train station because of a severe blizzard worse than Buffalo, New York last year. This means they won't be able to attend Pinkie Pie's party that night. Twilight and Spike are bored, so Twilight gets a few heartwarming e-books from the kiosk of the nearby Starbucks analog. And it's at this point that this comic angered me. We get three stories that are altered versions of existing Christmas tales that somehow include members of the main cast. I'll explain why this is bad later. Until then... The first story is The Flying Reindeer, starring Rainbow Dash. She's a reindeer that can fly. Because of this, she is bullied by Diamond Tiara, big shocker. That is until Princess Luna arrives with a cart of fruit cakes that she must deliver for Celestia. She talks about how great it is to fly, hurts her wings, and enslaves Rainbow Dash to be their horse for her cart. The end. The second story is The Nutcracker Suite, starring Rarity and Sweetie Belle. Until the Mouse King shows up because Rarity doesn't work with rodents. The last story is Twas the Night Before Heartswarming Eve, starring the Apple Family. This was the only one that was tolerable because at least it got to its message of celebrating the holiday with your family. But a lot of the dialogue feels forced for a joke. In between the stories, Cup of Joe, the Starbucks barista, tries to create an impromptu party for Twilight and Spike. But Twilight's friends arrive after somehow getting a message from Twilight's mom and somehow making it through the blizzard from Ponyville to Canterlot, I'm guessing by hoof, and with Pinkie Pie's pinky sense telling her to bring Cup of Joe's gold fish as well. They exchange gifts and BAM! End of story. If I was to create my own holiday story based upon the cover, it would have been about Spike trying to earn Rarity's affection by continuously showering her with gifts until both his bank account nor Rarity herself could take it anymore. Rarity would learn how to be more sincere with their feelings, maybe, and Spike would learn that it's not about the quantity of gifts that matter. And I pulled that out of my flank this morning in about a minute. But this comic is terrible. It feels lazy. Last time I heard that word used to prominently describe a comic, it was when Linkara reviewed Spider-Man One More Day on a top the fourth wall. I think One More Day overthought everything as opposed to underthought, but here it applies perfectly because everything feels below par, even the artwork that's only decent at best at times. The framing device has its own set of story problems, but the worst sin of all was the holiday stories that it told. The third story actually had a good moral to it, but all three suffer from the same things. They were stories from another world, mangled to fit this world's holiday while injecting our main characters into it without rhyme or reason, thus becoming versions of the original stories and not having their original moral conclusions. These are talented people we're talking about. Katie Cook, Brenda Hickey, Heather Breckel, to name a few, and we've seen them do way better than this, but this was them at their worst. They got lazy. I know this is only One Pony's opinion, but I can only recommend this comic to little kids that really want a comic book about ponies and Christmas. Otherwise, avoid it like the Krampus or crowds on Black Friday. But if you must have this comic for the holidays, you can get it at Comixology, iTunes, on Amazon Kindle, or at your local retailer. Hey, thanks for watching! Are you wondering where I got this amazing pony art? Then click that top video to go watch Dr. Sora's latest speed paint. Or you can click that bottom one to go watch my last review. And don't be afraid to click that like button, Leave a comment below so that I can improve the series in the future, or even subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date on all my latest videos. I'm Critical Analysis, signing out.